Hi, welcome to today's session. My name is Marian Brown. I'm a personal trainer and a functional aging specialist. And today we're doing body weight only with a towel. So that we'll use the towel for the resistance. So grab a towel, grab yourself, grab some water and get ready. We're gonna get started. Walk it in. Coming down, come up, and then you're just gonna down to the side, and then up and down. Go at your own pace. So be mindful of all those muscles. You've got to stay up really tall with this. See if you can tall, go low, and then over, and down, and then over. I've got a little bit of pressure on the towel so I can feel my lats. And yeah, it looks great. Stop. So next um, one is the lunge with the twist. And we're gonna lunge and twist. So go. So either stepping forward, we're gonna change legs and then come back up. If the forward is too much for your knees, then lunge backwards. So you wanna lock it in, go straight down. You don't wanna be coming forward like that. Yes, looking good. Here, nice and tall. Shoulders are back. So you've got that nice frame. Perfect, single leg deadlift. We're gonna do one leg. So you're gonna pull up tall. We'll start with my bad leg. <laughs> and we're up tall like this. And then you're hinging. Hinge, 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 hinge. At the hip and then back up. So it's glutes and hamstrings. So just down, like you're gonna pick something up and then come up tall. Down, and then come up tall. I want you to concentrate on the back of the leg. Let's run that hamstring and the glute. Just concentrate on those muscles, thinking of them pulling you back up. The time goes by so fast. So you're up tall, shoulders are back. Posture is key. Number one, so coming straight down, and then all the way up, and then down. Feel those, can you feel the hamstrings working? And the glutes. And you don't wanna be out, you don't wanna be out like this, because then that goes into your back. Especially if you have a heavy weight. Let's keep it close. And it's a lot of balance too, so it's a little bit challenging. And if you need to hang on, that's fine too. Stop, let's do it again. We don't need rest, do we? We're good. If you need extra rest, grab it, but we're gonna go for squats again. Feet hip width apart, let's go. Down, and then to the side. And then down, and then to the side. Be mindful of all the muscles you're using. And then side, down, and side. Down to the side. Squat down to the side again. Still going. Two seconds. We've got the lunge with the twist. Either lunging backwards, a bit easier on the knees, or forwards. And I'm going to hold this so strong and tight. Lunge, twist, and then back up. If you want, let's do lunge and press up. And lunge, twist, press up. Lunge and twist. Lots of stuff going on here. Lots of concentration. You have to make sure you break it all down so you have all the moves really perfected. Almost there, two seconds. Okay, so we're going into the single leg deadlift on. Pick your bad leg first. And we're up tall. So core, shoulders back, always lock in. We're gonna hinge, hinge, hinge. Maybe just to your knee and then think of lifting up with your glute and your hamstring. You guys are beautiful. Down. And this, if this hurts your lower back, you're either not doing it properly or possibly you shouldn't be doing forward flexion. I mean, we do have to flex forward. Um, but you want to make sure you're hinging at the hip. Because if you're bending at the waist, your back is going to hurt. So everyone's good. Other leg. 
Yes. Okay, I'm tall. And let's go. Down, down, down. And then back up. Think of that glutes and hamstrings. Coming down. Think of that, holding you back up. Don't just do the move, actually concentrate on the muscles we're working. It's looking good, you've got five seconds left. Squat down. So here, pressure here, and rotate. Drop, and then lift. Drop. See if you could do that pivot. I don't know if you can see my foot, but pivot, down, pivot, down. Down. Again, this makes you keep your body up tall and pivot. And pivot. Drop down. Push through those heels. I want you to feel your glutes working too. Yes, looking good. And you're keeping this like close to you, not way out here. The next one is the lunge with the bicep. Hold. And here we go. Lunge back. Bicep curl. Lunge back. If you want to do a little bit of a ply, oh, you can. And if you want to do a little, make it a little bit harder. Or pretend this is really heavy and you're, oh, pull and feel that resistance. Can you feel it? Yes. Bicep. Oh, it's working. Biceps are next. We're here. You can be up taller. Hold like a saw motion and there. And press. So you want to squeeze this muscle at the end. Squeeze and squeeze. So I'm pulling with this hand too. Everyone looks good. Yes. I'm going to keep the tension the whole time. I can bring this arm up. Just to here, just to here. Here and here. It's working, right? Can you feel it? I can feel it. <laughs> Other side. I know, that's a good one. So I guess I'll hold the towel. And it's you're doing the resistance. So whatever you, however much resist, oh, I'm really holding this tight. I can really feel this. Make sure your shoulders are down, chest is out. And you're just concentrating on this muscle here. Be up tall. You can do this up tall too. I'm just putting pressure and pulling away. And I'm squeezing at the end. Hold, hold, and hold. I bet your triceps are going to feel this tomorrow. And hold. Okay. Take a moment. We're going to do it again. Everyone's good? In three, two, we're holding here. We're coming down and we're going to go come up. Down and come up. Try to pull, pull this towel so I can feel a little bit in your lats too. Down and lift. Down and lift. And lift. And lift. Still going. Lift. Down. Lift. Squatting and lift. And you're done for that one. We're gonna go back to the lunge, back to the bicep. Turn your, to a supinated grip. That palms are up, and I'm gonna put pressure, elbows are close, come up, and then bicep, bicep. You gotta keep those shoulders back too. And then bicep. And if your knees are had too much, just do the bicep. I can feel that, oh yes, that is working. I need a fan in here. <laughs> keep it going, four seconds. You're still good. The triceps, who's in? We're gonna feel these tomorrow for sure. I know you will. As long as you're pulling, you can feel that resistance. And go. Out, pull, and pull. So I just did a lunge stance. Doesn't really matter. If we were using dumbbells, we would need to be like this because of gravity. But right now, we're just got uh, the resistance. We're pulling the resistance from the band. So pull, squeeze, 
and squeeze. Remember, you're only bending at the elbow. You're not doing the whole arm. You're just elbow. Yes, and then the other side. So I'm gonna put this here. Elbow is close, and I'm just gonna pull. So just think of the only thing that's bending is the elbow. And I squeeze at the end, I can feel my tricep burning. Squeeze, and squeeze. So just think of this thing moving, and this arm's just gonna go along for the ride, but you're holding it back. You're let, not letting it go, like, oh. Everyone looks great. I know. And everybody's good. Woohoo! <laughs> we did it. Yeah. Thanks so much for joining me. Click the like button, click the subscribe button. Check the links below for my Zaya Active. We will see you in the next video.